paying back. Okay guys, so the next move we're going to show you is uh, the ping backflip. So what you're going to need, you need uh, whether you're outside or inside, you're going to need a nice uh, horizontal bar to use. Um, these are great because they've got a bit of flex in them, but uh, just yeah, use what you've got. Um, the first thing that we're going to show you is the uh, position on top of the bar. So um, when you're on top, you really want to start with it. Everyone has like a preference, but um, me and Sean, we quite like to use sitting on the bar like almost, I'd say two inches uh, below, the, below the knee joint. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to sit on there with, uh, with the bar about two inches from my knee. And the move essentially is you just sit on the bar and it's almost as easy as falling off. You just kind of lean backwards, but as you're kind of on your way down, you kick your legs, like you kick your legs and find your body really taut and solid and uh, use your shoulders to kind of drive back as well and it will send you into a backflip. So we'll go up, we'll show you like roughly where you want to be sitting, uh, do a few, Sean will show you some and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So just find yourself comfortable on the bar, um, as I was saying, like two inches from the knee joint, about here. So you uh, use your hands, just find yourself stable on it, quite comfortable. You fall backwards and then as you get I'd say probably about 45 degrees back maybe a bit less you kick your legs and use your shoulders to uh, create the backflip motion as well so I'll show you one and that's pretty much the move we'll have a look at Sean doing it and um, I'll talk you through what he's doing and you know give you an idea of what's going on so he finds himself on there just gets nice and relaxed finds himself comfortable um, Watch as he goes back, he'll find the right moment because if he, if he kind of initiates the backflip too soon, then he's going to rotate close to the bar. So he's got to think like, as I go back, I need to get the right, um, right kind of the right angle so that it's not too high and not too far back because if he's too far back, he's probably not going to get the flip in. So uh, just check it out as he does it and he'll find it. Yeah, okay, from seeing Sean, he does it quite quickly, actually. He kind of, like, booms quite quickly off it, but his body and his, his kind of his angle still leaning back, which sends him away from the bar. So those are the things you want to be careful of. If you want to find yourself comfortable, uh, something to kind of, like, get yourself into it, maybe just try this. Get yourself on the bar. And maybe just to start with, try this move. Stay connected, like I said, about two inches um, below from the knee, and just, like, get used to going backwards. Because essentially what you're doing is from that move, you're just leaning backwards, but then letting go of the bar and pinging with your feet. So the whole, the whole like, energy is created from locking those legs out, kicking them backwards and being solid with your body. So I'll show you one more, how you can throw it into combos, and then we'll move on to the next move. So um, I've shown you the back, uh, ping back 360. I would just say that with all the moves we're showing you, don't rush ahead to the more advanced ones until you've really mastered the swing and ping back. Because um, there's just no point rushing them. You know, take your time, really master the first element, which is the backflip, and then like through all the moves we're going to show you, whether it's a back 360 off something or on the ground um, or from any move, make sure you get the basics good and then try the 360s and. Once you've got a good 360 on the floor or off a block, then you'll feel more comfortable to apply it to the bars. So, yeah, just train safe and, uh, yeah, travel at a safe pace. Peace.